All right. So, like I said, a lot of people who played this game originally, including myself, um, didn't really know what they were doing. And it's a pretty frustrating game when you don't know what you're doing because the, the guys kind of just come and grab your stuff and then you get wrecked. So, <laughs> but when you know what you're doing, the game can actually be kind of cool. Um, I have never played this game knowing what I was doing, but I looked up, I looked in the, the manual and I looked up kind of like a, hey, how the heck do you play this garbage? And, uh, so now I kind of know how it's done, sort of. So I'm going to do my best to explain it. So, basically, on each screen, there's, uh, one of these little dots. Those are supposed to be Reese's Pieces. You wouldn't know unless you unless you told somebody, unless you looked it up, but those are supposed to be Reese's Pieces. Uh, and there's a couple different things you can do with the Reese's Pieces. Uh, you need... Oh, I got grabbed. So, uh... If you get a certain amount of Reese's Pieces... I think something I forget I forget what the Reese's pieces do but you can also find you can find spots where you can give Reese's pieces to the kid and if you give him enough Reese's pieces he gives you a clue as to where the phone pieces are so here uh, there's a question mark so uh, up at the top there you see how there's an arrow um, that's telling me what I can do with the button so right now the button allows me to get out of the pit. That's why it has an arrow pointing up. If that thing is a question mark and you hit the button, it'll show you what pit the phone piece is in. So you need to use that to locate the phone pieces. So I got one now. I got one phone piece so far. I also got five Reese's pieces. Now if it's an arrow pointing a certain way, that means I can teleport to that screen if I hit the button. Oh, I remember. Okay, so if I give the Reese's Pieces to the kid, they, he gives me health back. That's what it does. I remember now. But I gotta find a spot where I can do that. Oh, get away from me. This guy just carries you back to the start. The other guy steals your stuff, but this guy just annoys you more than anything else. Okay, so... When Elliot comes and takes the, the pieces, um, if you have nine or more, he'll take it, chase away any dangerous humans, and leave you with a phone piece. If you have less than nine, then he'll take them and give you points based on how many you gave him. Uh, okay, that wasn't the call home. That was the uh, eat candy zone. So if you're in that zone... Um, you eat a piece of candy every time you press the button and it converts it into energy. Uh, the Roman, the Roman building zone sends the characters, the human characters back home. So that's like the get rid of them zone. What? <laughs> Listen to this description. Power executed in this zone will reveal to E.T. whether a part of his interplanetary phone is hidden on this current screen. E.T. must go to the telephone piece and touch it. Then, via telekinesis, it will move to the telephone construction site at the top of the screen. In other words, touch the piece and it'll show up in your inventory. Okay, so there's three games and two difficulties. Game one has all the humans. Game 2 has Elliot and the FBI agent, but no scientist. And Game 3 only has Elliot. The difficulty switches change the speed of the humans. In A, they move faster. In B, they move slower. The left difficulty, or that's the right difficulty switch. The left difficulty switch determines the landing conditions. If switch is in position A, Elliot cannot be present on the landing field when the rescue ship arrives. If Switch is in B position, Elliot can be present when E.T. calls the ship and when it lands. 
we'll, we'll do we'll do all the all human game because I feel like with no humans it'd just be silly. I want to beat it legit. So now hopefully the the humans move a little slower because good lord. Number one. Oh, son of a... Come on. Come on. Get out of the pit. <sighs> Freaking scientist. He moves so slow. Come on, guy. Oh, there's a piece. See, now I can actually, like, outwit them. Before, I just had to leave if they showed up because there was no way I was, like, actually getting anywhere with them on the screen. That's not what I wanted. Oh, now I'm over here. Okay. Alright. We got three pieces. I think that's it. I think that's the whole thing. Now I gotta find the call home zone. Which could be like anywhere. Oh god. This guy follows me the whole time. Go home. I might also want to get the uh, get nine Reese's pieces so I can call Elliot. Because if any of the bad guys are on the screen when I call home, it doesn't work. But if Elliot's here, then they're gone. Oh my god, he stole one of my pieces. At least he didn't steal all of them. I got most of my health back, though. Ah, found it. Okay, where is that call home? Go away. I'm ready to call home. Ah. Oh, and I just found the call home spot. Freaking FBI agent. Oh. This might be it. This might be the one. No, go away. Go away, I gotta call home. Go away. Okay. I think I just called home. Oh, but the scientist is here. Okay. No! I was just about to go home. Freaking scientist. Get out of the hole. Get out of the hole. Get out of the hole right now. I'm not playing around. E.T. No. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Go. Oh my god, they just appear like the second I try to call home. Okay, that's supposed to be the landing spot. So did I not call home? Aha! Oh, we did it! I think. I gotta wait though. Oh god! I gotta wait for this timer to...
Go away. No, go away. I did it. I did it. I beat Atari. E.T. Let's go. We got home. All right. We did it. With the humans, too. So, yeah. That's how you play it. Now, we got to do the secret Indiana Jones Easter egg. Okay. So, we got to get exactly seven Reese's pieces. And I got to get all three pieces of the phone. Go away. Go away. <laughs> it's so nice if you know where the go away area is. You can just tell them to get out of your face. I mean, sure, it costs points, but it's totally worth it. Where's the question mark on this screen? I can't find it. I'm just going to start falling down holes. Yeah, don't don't feel bad. I I hated this game as a kid. I had no idea how it worked, and I always wanted to beat it, but I never understood it. So beating it now is like revenge for my childhood. Feels feels good, man. But yeah, so I I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys think. Now that you know how the game actually works, do you think, like, how bad do you think this game is? Do you think it's still, like, one of the worst games ever made? Do you think it's okay for e for Atari standards? What do you think? To me, I feel like it's actually, I mean, there's definitely some strategy to it. Using the Reese's Pieces in the right way to get what you need. There's also a random a random element to it because the pieces and where the zones are are different every time. So this is like a precursor to a randomly generated type game, which is interesting to think that ET would be the game to start random generation. But I mean, I don't think it started it. Surely there were other games that had randomness to them, but. I, I, I would, if you would have asked me before I played it, I would have figured that it was the same every time. Okay, that's two pieces. Okay, that's three pieces. Now I need to get exactly seven Reese's pieces. I have nine right now, so I need to just give two of them up at one of the one of the eating zones. If I can find one. Don't want to call Elliot. Dang, where are the eating zones? Can't find one. Well, I found the flower. So I need to remember where that flower is because I need it later. I got grabbed by the scientist. Oh, I found an eating zone, but it's not in a good spot. Okay. So there we go. Now I need to call Elliot. There we go. I gotta give him exactly seven pieces. Ugh, come on. Cut it out. Go away. Elliot? Elliot? 
Seems like it takes Elliot a minute to get to you or something. Elliot. <laughs> Where's Elliot? Come on, buddy. Nope. Get out of here. Oh, there he is! Okay. So I gave him my seven pieces. Now I gotta find the flower. Which was in that one really big screen. With like the million holes. That is not it. About to die too. I need an eating zone if I can find one. There's one. Okay. Go away. Nope. All is lost if this guy steals my pieces. I can't find the screen with all the... All the holes in it that I... Oh, here it is. Okay, so, here we go. Now I touch the flower. There we go, okay. So that's step one. Now, I gotta do this again. I gotta beat the game and do that again. Unfortunately, I'm about to die. Unless I can get to it. Oh, wait. This guy might take me there. Nice. No! It costs too much to eat the piece. Rip. Alright, well, still. We got one life down, but that's alright. If I can find the call home, we'll be all good. I don't think I've seen it yet, though. So I get it cost me like a few pieces to eat the piece. So it killed me before I like actually ate it. Go away. As long as you can keep eating the pieces though, you can you can live forever. I can't find the call home spot. I feel like it's on this screen somewhere. Go home. Oh no. No! Ah! I gotta find the phone piece again. I mean, I guess I kinda gotta find the call home spot anyways, so... I don't know where this call home spot is. I've looked like everywhere. There it is. Okay. The four holes right above the right above the fourth hole. And there's the phone piece. Alright. Crap, we're gonna die again though. We got one more life though. So we should be able to hopefully make it. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, good. I thought I thought we were hard locked. Okay. Just gotta make it over here. Call home. Okay, is there a place I can eat here? Okay. Alright, that should be enough points, hopefully. Get out of here. Crud. I gotta find where I can get rid of this guy. Go home. No! No, this guy's in the way. No, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! This is the only part that's truly frustrating. If there's an enemy on the screen, you just lose. And there's nothing you can do about it. 
Like, there's no way to stop that from happening. You're just... You're just screwed. Great, and now I'm dead. Because there's, like, no Reese's Pieces anywhere. Oh wow, you revived me again. I thought I only had two lives. Okay. <sighs> well, now we're stuck in, like, the forever fallen hole, so... Now we're really in trouble. Oh, there's the spot I needed. Oh my god. Guy, stop. Call home. Okay, just please, no one show up. Because I don't have enough points to survive. Oh no. Go home. Go home. Please, no one else show up. <laughs> For the love of God. Nobody show up. No. No. Yes! Oh my god! With only 150 points left, we did it. I don't know if it would have counted if that guy didn't get all the way off the screen and like right at the very end. That was clutch. Okay, I don't know if I carry my lives onto this next playthrough or not. Hopefully I do. Okay, so we gotta do the same thing again. We gotta get seven Reese's pieces. We gotta find all the phone pieces. We gotta give seven Reese's pieces to Elliot. And then we gotta find the flower. And then we get the Indiana Jones Easter egg. Which I guarantee is not worth it. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's not worth it. But it'll be something that you can remember for the rest of your lives. You can say, I saw the Indiana Jones Easter egg in the original ET 2600 video game. That's not something everybody can say. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't you dare. I just want this Reese's piece and then I'll be out of your way. Okay, there's the call home. The call home's in the same spot as it was last time. And there's also a call Elliot right next to it. I need to get this guy away from me. Come over here, buddy. No! I didn't mean to teleport. Now I gotta find that spot again. check all these holes because I got to find the flower too there's no way to know where the flower is unless you just drop in every hole so that's not what I meant to do but whatever. Gotta find that flower. Nope, get out of the pit. Where's that flower? I also need to find a Elliot zone. What's up, Jack? Don't watch here often, but love the YouTube series, especially Crisis Core and Chrono Trigger. Thanks, man. I also enjoyed Chrono Trigger and Crisis Core a lot. Glad you enjoyed them. Can you not, scientist? I'm a little busy. I need to call Elliot while I have the right amount of pieces. Where's an Elliot call zone? There. Call Elliot. 
Oh, you're kidding. He stole my phone pieces. Alright, hopefully that still counts, because I, I lost a phone piece. I think you just need the phone pieces when you touch the flower. I don't know if you need them when you give the pieces. Stop it. Oh, I found the flower. Okay, good. I just need the last phone piece, which is not on this screen. There it is. Alright, I just gotta avoid this guy, and we should be in there. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This guy's just waiting on the other side of this freaking hole. <laughs> what a jerk. I need to find a I need to find an eating zone real bad. I need health. Oh, I found the piece. But I need health. I need health. Somebody find me a health zone. Oh, I found it. Yes, eat the pieces quick. Eat them quick. Okay. Here we go. There he is. Indiana Jones. In the flesh. In my ET game. We did it. We got the Indiana Jones fire hydrant on <laughs> we did it and you get a little smiley face at the top of the screen too although that's always there when you touch the flower there you go and I believe he turns into something else if you do this again I don't know what he turns into the third time but I think I think Indiana Jones is the the true Easter egg. The other ones are just extras. Can I now the, the question is can I get can I finish the game? I have the pieces, so I just got to find the call home. Actually, I know where the call home is. It's right here. Where's the, where's the go away spot? Uh oh, I don't know where the go away spot is. There it is, get out. You just gotta hope the timing is good, it's really frustrating. Like if a, if a character comes out like right now I'm screwed. Cause I don't have time to make him go away. Oh I missed, no! I was trying to wait till the last second. I blew it. Go away. I was trying to wait till the last second just in case somebody showed up. I played myself. He's been home all day, but he just woke up from his nap, so he's yelling. That's what he does. Okay, well, if no one shows up, I'm safe. If someone shows up, I'm dead. Because I only have 35 health. <laughs> Nobody show up. No whammies. No, God, that's a big whammy. <sighs> okay, I have a life, though. So I guess we're good. Nobody show up. Nobody show up. Don't you dare show up now. I did it! That's three victories and the Indiana Jones Easter egg. We got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16,000 points. It's a world record. It's not. <laughs>